also true. We welcome you back to CBS Mornings. It has been five years since a bombshell investigation uncovered decades of abuse and harassment allega allegations rather, against media mogul Harvey Weinstein. The reporting fueled the Me Too movement and earned New York Times journalists Jody Cantor and Megan Toohey a Pulitzer Prize. Jody joins us in the studio just after the breaking story. We all remember this. Weinstein is now serving a 23-year sentence for rape and sex assault in New York. Is on trial right now in Los Angeles on additional sex crime charges. Now, the new film, She Said, is out today. You must go see this movie. It tells the story behind the investigation. In this clip, one of Weinstein's former production assistants tells Jody Cantor's character about the agreement she made with the Weinstein Company to keep her allegations quiet. These are the original letters. I had to have their permission if I wanted to contact a therapist or speak to an accountant. I was never to speak to any other media now or hereafter existing about it. Jody. This is bigger than Weinstein. This is about the system protecting abusers. I want you to take these. And I want you to use them. Jody Cantor was also a CBS News contributor, joins us now with actor Zoe Kazan who I think you nailed it. She played Jody in the movie. Welcome to you both. Thank you. First, can I say, guys, bravo, bravo, bravo. Jody, I have to start with you because we all know this story. You've been here many times talking about it. And I felt I know the story. I, I'm trying to explain why it was so emotional watching it on the screen. Mm. And I think because you really took us behind the scenes, you and Megan took us behind the scenes about the work that you put in and what it took to get the story. Why was it such an emotional time for those of us who have seen this movie? Well, I'm so grateful to Zoe and the rest of the team that made this film because what they've done is they've taken, frankly, the inspiration that Megan and I feel in our work and have put it on the big screen. I think you see the bravery of these sources. The, these, the, the women are not shown as pure victims. They're shown as these adult women with a difficult choice to make about, you know, are they going to cooperate with this investigation? Why should they? There's enormous risk for them. But then what I think you also see is the power of the truth and the feeling that, you know, we really can confront a bully. We just have to do it together. Was it emotional for you, Zoe? And I'm wondering how you nailed... Jody so well. First, I want to know, was it emotional and how you how you captured her? So. Yeah, I mean, I I cried reading the book when when the women decided to go on the record. Um, I felt the same way reading the script. I sort of cried every time I read it. Um, I think it's just very emotional to see women stand in their truth and their power and to see an institution like the New York Times stand behind them and put heft behind those individual voices. Mm -hmm. um, you know, watching women be believed, I think, yes. is, is very were. powerful. Did there you were. study Jody though? Did you meet with her? <laughs> Did you watch yeah. her interviews? What I mean, I think I sound like a stalker. I'm like, <laughs> I try to absorb her essence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we got to spend time together in a very chill way. We're both Brooklyn moms. Oh. We like spent time with our kids. We went to dinner together. Had but you two didn't know. You two didn't know each other. <laughs> no, we'd never yeah. met. But when I first met Jody, I felt like, oh, I I could have known her already. Like oh. there was a real sense of familiarity, and she and and her husband Ron are so inspiring and s such impressive people. But getting to know them felt like very easy. Like they just were so welcoming and generous and let me kind of peek into their lives and ask all sorts of nosy questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Zoe there was, was a decision. Very, Zoe was very probing. There were times when you asked me things where I was like, I could tell you the truth, but it might end up on screen. <laughs> mm. There was a decision made not to show Weinstein's face. How do you feel about that? The book, so the movie is based on a book we wrote. Right. Yep. And yep. the book is called She Said. It's called She Said for a reason, right? Because in those two little words are so many multiple layers of meaning. And man, I just think this film unpacks that so beautifully. And what, you know, it is a story about, fee there are some men who helped in a really powerful way, yeah. but at the end of the day, this is a book and a film about female narration. Mm -hmm. And the power of using your voice. Um, Jody, you mentioned how this film 
accurately depicts not just how hard it was for these women to come forward, but then also go on the record, which are two completely different things. How difficult was it in real time when that was happening? So difficult because you're asking people to take on real risk and you can't disguise that. You know, one of the scenes in the film that's the truest to life for me is when Ashley Judd calls me to, mm. to calls my character. Who plays herself in the movie. Ashley plays yeah. herself in the movie <laughs> and she's, you know, I think what Ashley and Zoe are doing in that scene is sharing with the world something very special that happened in real life, which is that this woman put her career and her reputation on the line, on the line for yeah. the sake of other women. And I try to be very professional in the workplace and in my conduct at the times. But I got to tell you, I mean, I, I broke down crying because it, for me, it was the first time I really knew the investigation was going, going to work. Mm. Yeah. And I think you can, like, I think you did such a beautiful job of showing the layers of emotional reaction kind of beneath the professional yep. exterior. I thought we saw it in real time. Have you yeah. seen Zoe cha changes in Hollywood since the article came out? We've had some really concrete changes, like having an intimacy coordinator who's sort of like a stunt coordinator, but for any intimate contact on screen, mm. um, having uh, codes of conduct that we agree upon before we start filming, having anti-harassment workshops within the cast and crew. But I think you have only to open a newspaper to see how far as a society we have to go. Yes, yes And I yes. think that one of the messages of the film is that collective action can have an impact, that... Um, I don't know, that, that there's a power in standing together and that, like she said, to take down a bully, you don't need to be a powerful person. No, beautiful, you beautiful job. Purpose. And I yes. think, Jody, you talk about it so coherently and just, you know, almost distantly, but what you went through, you and Megan, you had death threats, your daughter asked you, what is rape? I mean, hmm. there's so many things that we saw in your personal life. I'm in awe, I'm in awe, and bravo, bravo to you yes, both. Yes, bravo. You're Public like, well, service, Jody. Well done, well done. Jody Cantor and Zoe Kazan, we thank you. She said, as I said, is out in theaters today. Please run, don't walk to see this movie.